So guys, this is our heart rate sensor and this is the LCD. By default, it has random value, but once I place my finger on it, you get the heart rate. For different people, it will be different heart rate. So you have to maintain the distance of these LED and the sensor, the square type sensor, there you will place your finger. And that is the LED over there sending the infrared radiations. So you have to like keep the distance maintained. Now you can make a device out of it or something like that. So guys, hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can interface a KY039 heartbeat sensor with a PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. So let's get started. So guys, this over here is the KY039 heartbeat sensor. It has three pins as you can see. Now guys, I label the center one as the VCC, the top one as the ground and the bottom one as the A out pin. This pin over here is an ADC pin. So you will connect it to the ADC pin of the PIC. You can use any available ADC pin of the PIC for this. I'm going to use a pin number A0 like this. Now guys, for the VCC, you connect to VCC ground, you connect to the ground of the PIC. Now guys, to display the output and also to calibrate, I will use this LCD. It's a 16 cross 2 LM016 LCD. It has 16 pins from left to right. If you hold it like this, it's 1 to 16. To adjust the contrast of this LED, you will LCD, you will need a 3 pin variable resistor, 10 kilo ohm. Now this variable resistor is labeled on the body as well, 1, 2 and 3 like this. Now this LCD is 1 to 16 from left to right. If you hold it like this, let's connect it. Pin number 1 and 5 of the LCD, you connect them together. Then you connect it to the pin number 1 of the potentiometer, then you send it to the common ground like this. Now pin number 3 of the LCD is the adjustable contrast pin connected to the pin number 2 of the potentiometer. Now pin number 2 of the LCD is the VDD pin connected to the pin number 3 of the potentiometer, then you send it to the common DCC supply of the pick like this. In this way, potentiometer gets the 5 volt and LCD gets the 5 volt. Now guys, pin number 4 of the LCD is the RS pin. Use any available digital input output pin for this. I am going to use the pin number C0. For pin number 6, that is unable, I am going to use a C1. For data pin 4, that is pin 11 of the LCD, I am going to use C2. For data pin 5, D2. For data pin 6, D3. And for data pin 7, C4. Now pin number 15 and 16 are the for LCD backlight. 15 goes to the 5 volt and 16 goes to the ground. 7, 8, 9, 10 are for the 8 bit mode while we are using this LCD in the 4 bit mode. So let's get to the hardware before we move on to the programming. Let me... So guys, guys, this is the hardware over here. This is our sensor, KY039 heartbeat sensor. This is our LCD and this over there is a PIC16 FA77M microcontroller. Simple as that. Now let's get to the programming. So guys, I'm going to use a micro C4 PIC. Let me zoom in so you can see better. Version 7.2.0. You can use a higher version as well. Higher is always better. Click on file, new, new project. This window pops up, new project wizard. Click on next. Write the name of the project, heartbeat. Tutorial by learning microcontrollers. That is the name of the project I wrote. Select the path, select the controller. I am going to use a PIC16 FA77A. Select the crystal. I have a 20 megahertz crystal at pin number 13 to 14. Click on next and finish. This window pops up. Before you do anything else, press Ctrl S to save your work. Now go to the right in the libraries here. Select the libraries you are going to use. We will need the ADC library, conversion library, and the LCD library. Now go to the ADC library, expand it. Here you have this ADC INIT command. You copy this command, paste it below the void main and give some initialization delay. 10 will do fine or you can make it 100. It is not necessary to give this delay, but I always suggest you give it in the one time loop. Again, go to the libraries, expand the LCD library. Here you have this LCD INIT command, double click on it. This window pops up here in the example. Here you have this command, copy them till here. Now you paste it above the void main like this. Now define the pins as set by you. For RS, we are using C0. For EN, we are using C1. For D7, we are using C4. For D6, we are using D3 like this. And for D5, it's D2. Okay, let me recheck. Okay, it's D3. Then we have D2 for the D5 as shown in the presentation. And then we have C2 for the D4, C0, C1, C4, D3, D2, and C2. Now do the same for the pin directions again. For the RS, we have C0, then C1. For the enable, for data pin 7, it's C4, D3. For D6, D5, D2. And then we have finally C2 like this. Now guys, our LCD is initialized. By default, the LCD has a cursor, and I don't want the cursor. 
Now go back here. You have this command here LCD I night. You copy it as well. This will initialize the LCD depending upon the above pins. Now, so now the LCD is initialized. Give some initialization delay here. Now it's good. Now, guys, the next thing is our LCD is initialized. Now we need to, uh, you can say that, uh, remove the cursor. I don't want the cursor. You can keep the cursor if you want. Copy this command in the LCD CMD library. Copy it below it like this. Now, guys, go back. In the available library, in the LCD CMD, you have these available libraries. Look for this command, turn off cursor. Copy this command in the green. Go back. Place it inside this bracket over here, like this. Now, this command will turn off the cursor. Give some initialization delay. Just 10 will do fine. Now, guys, we clear the LCD for the initial run. I go to the LCD CMD and clear the LCD. Go back. Paste it here, like this. LCD is cleared. Now, guys, we go to the forever loop, write down while one. So, first of all, we will need to read the value from the sensor. For that, we will need a variable which will store the value. So, we take an integer, int part. And for the integer to be displayed on the LCD, we need a string. So, an array of char is a string, heart one. We cannot display integers directly on this LCD. So, we take a string. Now, first of all, we read the value. So, we take this integer halt equals to ADC read from channel 0 like this. Give some initialization delay. 10 will do fine. Now, here as you can see, this over here is a variable which will store the value. This is a sign text and this 0 means it's coming from pin number A0. If it's A1, then you will take the channel 1 for A and 2, choose a 2, that's all. Now, we convert this to a string to display it on the LCD. So, expand the conversion library. Here you have this command int to string. Go in the example. This is a command here. You copy it, go back, paste it, and here you will write the integer who is to be converted. Now, whatever is in this, is in this value will be converted into a string or will be stored in this integer that is heart1. Now, we display it on the LCD. Give some initialization delay again. Now, to display it on the LCD, go to the LCD out command in the LCD library. Here you have this LCD out command. Double click on it. And this command over here, copy it, go back, paste it here. Now start writing from the first row, first column, what it should write, whatever is in this variable. Now give some delay for how long you want the value to be displayed on the screen. I give it like 300. For 300 millisecond, I want the value to be displayed on the screen. Then the LCD will clear up for the new value. Now build this code. Okay, it's built successfully. Now go to the hardware. And write it. Okay, the new code is being written. Let's wait. Let's get to the hardware and wait for the new code to be written. Okay, you can see that we are getting random values on the screen, but we have some rag bag values. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After 6 digit, we don't want the values coming after the 6 digit. So, we remove them. So, you have to play with this LCD. It's not easy to use this LCD. So, now again, here what you do is that till 6, it's fine. Now, start adding from the first column, 7th digit. Just leave the empty spaces. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, maximum it can have 16 digits on one line. So, we removed all the rag bag values now. Now, we build the new code and burn it. So, let's get back to the LCD and see what difference does it bring. So, this is the LCD. The new code is being burned. Just wait. Okay, let's play further. So, this didn't work. It gave us no value. So, instead of now clearing the LCD, okay, we made a mistake here. This has to be done after this command. Sorry for this. Now, do it after the command like this. Build. Now, click on write. We accidentally wrote it before the main command. So, it overwritten our clearance command. So, now build. Okay, the new code is being written. Just wait.
okay we remove more digits than we wanted now we have to get back one digit so what i do is that go back you have to play with this lcd you might have some different problem so we delete one so we can have the space okay just delete one okay that's fine so it's working i'm very happy the code is now working at least it has removed the rag bag values click on write okay the new code is being written better and improved okay let it write okay still we have a digit missing so again we go back and we make it 8 here so we wanted the seven digit so i make it 8 after the okay 9 9 here because we can have at least four digits so after ninth digit it will remove all the rag bag values so click on write with a new code is being written go back to the lcd Okay, see that now we have better view. Okay, see whenever I place my finger in between the sensor and on this sensor, the infrared lights coming from the infrared LED tells me the heart rate. See, I place it like this. See, now whenever my heart rate changes, this value will change. So, this is how it's gonna work. You have to like check the fingers of different people on it to see you will get different heart rates. So this is simple as that you can make a device out of it. So guys, I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. So I will give you the code in the description of the video. So thank you very much for your time. See you in the next video.